Hey guys, we are checking the weather today just to make sure there's been no changes because uh, it wasn't supposed to rain last night, but it did, um, which we thought it was going to because we looked at the sky before we went to bed and we're like, it's going to rain tonight. So we were right. Uh, didn't rain super hard, just nice off and on. Like 15 minutes. Yeah, off and on for probably a couple hours. Um, also, we do have our food bag this morning. No, be no bear got yeah, it. Yeah, bobsled was terrified all night. She didn't sleep. Yeah. Not really terrified. I just didn't sleep well. I had some nightmares and stuff and was feeling kind of nauseous. So, hmm. feeling a little bit better. Um, yeah, I mean, we're about as high as we're going to go today. And we're just going to kind of roll up and down some hills and then go down really far goal of 20 today so we have a short day into Hiawassee but we only get 15 that's fine or 16 mm -hmm. that is what it is then it is what it is and we'll have 16 into Hiawassee but we're gonna try to do 20 so we only have like 10 yeah so or 11 but yeah it's really humid today so it feels, it feels hot, but it's like actually when you're standing still, it's like not that hot, but it's very sticky and the wind blowing little. helps a little bit. Yeah. And then it's still really cloudy. Y'all can see it's like gray sky. So we'll see what happens today. Hey y'all. What up guys? Today's been a little bit cooler since it rained last night and then it's been cloudy. The humidity is getting a little bit better. Yeah. Um, we just passed the uh, famous twisted tree. I don't know what, what they call it. I don't know. I don't remember. It just says old twisted tree. Yes. Yeah, that's all it says. The old twisted tree that's pretty famous on the AT. And then we are just about to enter Georgia. All right. I thought the border was like right there. But we stopped and got water. It's about point one down the hill. That's why it took us so long to get back to you guys because we had to get water. Not that you know or anything. <laughs> so, this should be it right here. Yeah. Leave no trace, guys. We at the border, Georgia! Woo! Hey, guys. Today's been really rough. We're really like. The last three hours. Like, last couple weeks have been rough. I've been like. My appetite's been slowly decreasing to like nothing. And I've been trying to like force food down my throat, but then I'm getting like nauseous from eating. I don't know if I'm just like really dehydrated or maybe I got bit by a tick and like didn't see it. But like my energy level is so low. I'm nauseous, so I don't want to eat. I don't know. It really sucks. The last little bit of today kind of like wore me all the way out and it wasn't even difficult really. It was pretty easy. So I'm trying to get a rum bomb down. I've had like five bites and I'm done. So I'm gonna stay here for a while. I'm just tired. Let me try to get it down. I'm going into high wash tomorrow. Yeah, we got resupply. We were hoping to stay the night tonight in town and then maybe slack pack ourselves to Unicoi yeah, County whatever. or Unicoi Gap. But uh, apparently there's some sort of hot air balloon festival. <laughs> hot air balloon festival. Cheese so, their own, I guess. Yeah, there's no rooms anywhere. There's no Airbnbs. There's no hostel. There's no yeah, inns. That, that's nothing. Like, that's like in Helen or Hiawassee, oh, they're all booked fully. Or or, just or two hundred dollars. Like price gouging. Yeah. Serious price gouging. Yeah. Like twice, two to three times as much as what they usually charge anyone, mm -hmm. and especially hikers. Ridiculous. It's almost four times what they charge hikers right now. Yeah. So. so it is what it is. Yep, yeah, we'll just be going in, eating some good food, and resupplying, and then hiking. Yeah. Hopefully I feel better. I don't know. 
I we're gonna try to get some really more. Well. Yeah, we're gonna try to get some more Gatorade and see if that helps. I don't know. I've got five more days. I, I'm gonna try to push through. Hey guys. What up, yo? <laughs> so y'all know we weren't able to stay tonight because there's some crazy balloon festival going on. Hot air balloon festival. <laughs> so everything's booked. But uh, we did get a hitch in the town to Hawaii. Hayawasi. Hayawasi. Uh, got ourselves some food. Just resupplied for a day yeah. to get to Neil's Gap. And um, we're sitting here charging up. That was the main concern. Like, we had no more power. So we had to come charge up somewhere. Uh, so luckily, they have a gazebo in the middle of town. Town Square. Town Square. There's some outlets here. There's, There's a water quite fountain. There's a few outlets here. There's like 20 outlets here. It's a lot. There's a lot of power. Good for I feel like you can't see us, but um, there's a water fountain, trash cans, pretty much everything a hiker needs except for a shower. There's also a Port John over there, so it's kind of like everything you need. Food is nearby, groceries like right around the corner. I didn't even see any comments about this in Gut Hook because I think most of the time people can get into the budget inn or whatever, but it's a good place. Just come in the middle of the day, relax, it's hot, whatever's going on. Just sit up here in the shade and just relax, enjoy, spend your time, do all the resupply, do everything you need to do. So it's, it's very nice for them to supply something like this. And every Saturday between Memorial Day and Labor Day, music, fun, food, games, that's what it says. So tonight there's going to be some kind of shindig here, so that's kind yeah. of cool for hikers. If you roll in on Saturday and you want some entertainment, High Watch has got it for you. Sadly, we'll be gone. We but it says it's 82 degrees out. I'm in the shade and I'm a little chilly because we've been just like hiking in 86 degrees. So I'm actually a little chilly right now. So it's it's not bad not having any AC. It's kind of comfortable. So, all right, we'll see y'all later when we get to hiking again. Hey guys. What up, yo? It's hot. <laughs> Low 80s. It's not too bad. There's just not really wind right here where we're at. And it was really windy earlier, so we're missing the wind. Yeah. <laughs> Tree man keeps talking to the owls. It's cracking me up. Do you want me to do the noise? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> These gnats are getting on my nerves. Like. I never knew that I would be so annoyed by gnats before in my life, but I am. You knew this. I really wish we would have ran into JM like two months ago. Because he said that there's this plant called the long large leaf plantain yeah. or something. And you can eat it and like the bugs don't bother you. And I would say that's a load of crap, but when we were standing there talking to him, they were swarming me and Tree Man and like not even bothering him. So, I wish I would have known that earlier because I would have gave it a try, but I don't have time for it to like got time get into my system now for it to work. So, yeah, that sucks. I got like three gnats climbing on my hand right now as I videotape this. Anybody got time for that? Here's a water source. There's toilet paper. Right there. Come on, guys. Are you kidding me? So we're hiking. I was like, man, it smells really like earthy or like extra plant-like through here. And then Tree Man was like, yeah, like potatoes. I was like, yeah, it smells really like starchy like potatoes. And then he pointed out a plant. And uh, yes, yeah, so I looked around and uh, saw a bunch of uh, Jerusalem artichokes. You know the sunchokes? They're like a little tuber that grows in the ground, come up with a yellow flower at the end of the summer. But it's pretty much everywhere because the canopy is not really developed here. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of sun that hits the ground as you can see. Stuff we're walking through is three, four, five feet high, so it's pretty brushy. Yeah, 
pretty cool. Your nose just gets like so tuned in when you're out here. It's insane. Good morning. Good morning, guys. It's June 2nd and we are pushing to get to Neil's Gap today. We're doing some Woo big days to try to get done a little bit early. And we are possibly going to attempt a marathon our last day. Possibly. We'll possibly. see. We'll see. We'll, we'll probably attempt it regardless, but we'll see if we, we make it or not. So, today doesn't look that bad. Just a little bit of a longer date, like 18 or something like that. 18 to get a nails yet. So, we'll see. Um, yeah, we're excited to go see the tree with all the shoes on it. Oh yeah, the tree of souls. The tree of souls. I don't know what they actually call it, but yeah. That's what I'm calling it. That's what we call it. But yeah, so we're excited to go see that, and uh, yeah, let's get started. We are so thankful for the trail maintainers of this area. Thank you so much. <laughs> They have come out with like a weed whacker or something and just knocked down all the weeds next to the trail. So no poison ivy, oak, or sumac rubbing up against my legs today. I'm so, tired of dodging it. Yeah, it's so nice. And the trail's nice and wide here, so I'm not like not silk blazing today. It's just great. It's gonna be a good day. The best part is when we like have to step off now, we're not like stepping in like thick patches of poison oak. Yeah. So that's awesome. Make sure it's had enough. Got a big old hole there and then I think, I think I got another one somewhere back here. Maybe not. I thought I did. There we go. It's falling apart. Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys. It's snack time. Second snack time. For AKA lunch. lunch time. But I'm not gonna eat my lunch. I'm just gonna snack because I just can't. I just can't eat buffalo chicken anymore. <laughs> I think I'm officially done. I just can't eat it. It's going in the Iger box when we get to Neil's Gap. But today. Today in only a few more hours. But yeah, I just had tick on me. It wasn't embedded or anything. I just kind of like flicked it off. The dog tick. But yeah, it was a dog tick again. Um, the only deer tick we ever saw was that one that was on me like... Pennsylvania? Lyme, Connecticut. Was it Con It was not... We were, we were oh. right by Lyme. Anyways, just that one time. And it, wasn't, it didn't bite me then either. That's the only time we ever saw one. So hopefully... That's the last tick we see. May or may not be. The bugs are getting it. One more day. Two more days. Two more days. Two more. Not today. Three more days, baby. Two more. Mm -hmm. Two more in the approach trail. Yeah, exactly. So three more. Whatever. Two and a half days. Yeah. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, y'all. So we made it into Mountain Crossings last night. Got some much needed showers. Oh, yeah. Fortunately, they don't have laundry. They so do have my a sink. shirt smells awful. They do have a sink. Um, yeah. So, anyways, it feels great to have a shower. Yeah. And um, we did a little bit of sink laundry last night. Um, we are headed up Blood Mountain today. Doesn't look too fun. It is, no. it is the only climb I've been kind of like, I don't want to really do that one. Because it does look kind of steep. And we hear it's just kind of like rocky. So. We'll see. We'll see. It's probably, it's probably a decent climb. It looks like it. We're not going far today. Only doing like, what, five, six miles? Yeah. Uh... So yeah, we'll have a big day tomorrow. Plan on finishing tomorrow if possible. <coughs> if not, if for some reason we can't finish, we'll still finish within a year yep. of our start date. So 
either way it'll be good uh, we're gonna get up really early after a short day today um, hit it hard and hit it hard and hit it long <laughs> but yeah literally there's a campsite that's 26.2 miles away from the plaque coincidence on Springer Mountain I think not. so we are going to accept that challenge we didn't do many challenges that typically hikers do so we're gonna kind of make this one up our own and try to do it It'll be fun. bye y'all hey guys hey y'all we're sitting here in the blood mountain shelter it feels amazing right now stop looking at me like that i can't um yeah we're sitting here in the shelter it's a stone shelter so it's like really shaded and cold so it feels yeah. really nice because it's hot outside again okay it's not as bad <laughs> y'all couldn't guess but yeah it was a little bit cooler this morning yeah feels good today but yeah they uh they stoned in the fireplace so you can't even make a fire in here doesn't look like it stops people though. it does not stop anyone um, yeah. see how much soot's on there Ooh. it's black people will still be putting fires right in front of it uh yeah we're just relaxing taking our time today um the summit was, uh, it was definitely rocky. Uh, wasn't that bad, though. <laughs> uh, North Bounders, I'm, I'm guessing this is just, like, the first really bad thing they get to, so they freak out about it. But uh, we haven't gone down, but everybody told us that the hard part for us was going to be the descent because they say the descent was really bad. Yeah. So. It's just rocky. Yeah. It's rocky, a little bit degraded, you know. It's there's a, a there's a lot of different trails that go different ways because people are trying to make shortcuts, so that kind of sucks. We're a mile from camp after we leave here. <laughs> One mile. We're doing like three miles today, three and a half. I yeah. don't know, something's short. Wherever twenty six point two miles is from Springer. Mm -hmm.